The sumo barbell deadlift. So this is part of our hinge movement pathway. Really good full body exercise. It works the whole of the lower body, uh, glutes, quads, hamstrings. We get lower back, upper back, shoulders, forearms. Uh, it's a really good full body exercise. I tend to start people with the sumo deadlift before the conventional deadlift. It requires a little bit less mobility. But whether you're gonna find it more comfortable is, is really up to your anatomical structure of the hip. So have a play around with which, which one feels easier, but I like to start people this way. So you'll notice that I've raised it up on steps. Having to pick a barbell off the very floor, for most people will end up in a rounding of the spine in a position you don't want to get into with this exercise. So if you're not using bumper plates and you're using less than 20 kg, please use steps to raise it up slightly. We want it kind of mid shin level. From here, we're going to set up the bar over our laces, feet outside of shoulder width with feet facing out roughly 45 degrees. We are going to utilize our hinge and once hands get to the knees, we are going to sink down. The barbell should be within an inch of our shins. From here, we're going to put the shoulder blades in our back pockets. We're going to grip the bar just inside of the knees at shoulder width apart. We're going to drive the world weight up into our top position, hips come through, shoulder blades should be back and down, glutes on. From here, we're going to send our hips back and hinge down. Once we get past the kneecap, we can sink down, the bar should stay nice and close to us throughout. Once again, putting shoulder blades into the back pockets, driving the world away up into this top position, shoulder blades back and down, glutes on. Hinging, sinking, make sure you're putting it down safely. So once we've got the hang of that and we've nailed on the technique, we want to add some breathing in. So the intra-abdominal pressure is quite important for this exercise. I'm not going to bore you with the details, but we want it as high as possible at the hardest part of the lift, which is the bottom. So we're going to set up once again, feet outside shoulder width, 45 degrees out, hands shoulder width apart, inside knees. We're going to take a big inhale before we go. We're going to hold that breath into the top. Big exhale on the way down. Pause, big inhale. Hold that breath up to the top. Big exhale on the way down. So a couple of the common errors that I see with this exercise are a lot to do with setup. So we want to make sure we set up in the right position. We are not in a rounded back position. We want big chest shoulders back and down. Something that's often really helpful I find is if you do it side onto a mirror, hinge and sit and set up, you should see hips above knees, shoulders above hips in your starting position. So check that out. A couple of other things I see, letting the bar drift away from the legs on the way down, away from the center of mass. This is usually because we have not set the hips back enough, we have just hinged from this starting position. I'm gonna put some unnecessary stress on our lower back. Final one I see actually. Getting into this top position, leaning back and extending way too far. We want to think hips through rather than leaning back. 